Okay, so good afternoon and welcome everybody to an informative and fun-filled welcome back to Punta Cana Zoom call. For those of you I've not had the pleasure of working with, I am Ron Warner, one of the six regional directors of sales for North America for Malia Hotels International. Today, along with my colleague Beatrice Kazuski, we'll be hosting this session for you. Buenas tardes. The reason that we chose to feature the Dominican Republic today is because we just reopened. And so we wanted to highlight this particular destination. We know that there's nothing like a visual experience. So we're gonna start with a video that will highlight Melia Punta Cana Beach and Melia Caribe Beach. And then we will move into the audience participation of the call where all those ones on the winning team, I repeat, all those ones on the winning team will win a complimentary stay in the Dominican Republic. And now it gives us both great pleasure to take you on a video journey back to the Dominican Republic.
Sara Gramonte, Director of Group Sales. And I'm Alicia Cano, Associate Director of Group Sales in Punta Cana. And we both really hope that you enjoyed Melia Punta Cana and Melia Caribe Beach as much as we did. Now it's your turn to come here and, and enjoy your groups and incentives here in this amazing paradise. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Santiago Rivera and I am the Area Managing Director for Melia Hotels International here in the Dominican Republic. I want to invite you to this beautiful country as we are open 1st October and we are totally ready and ready for groups. Your security is the most important for us and for that we have our protocols stay safe with Melia audited by one of the most important companies as Buro Veritas is. For the rest, you don't have to worry about it because we will continue to take care about you and we will pamper you in our way, in Melia style. So, I hope to meet you here personally at your home in Punta Cana. And meanwhile, please take care and stay safe. See you soon. Health and safety are our top, top priorities. Enjoy. to thank Santiago Rivera, our Area Managing Director, Dominican Republic, along with Sara, Director of Group Sales, and Alicia, Regional Associate Director of Group Sales, for putting together this great video. We're going to take all your questions that you may have at the end of this call, so please add them into the chat box. And before we move into our game, I would like to share with you our newest program, Individual Incentive Trips with Malia Rewards hot off our press. What is it? Our individual incentive trips with Melia Rewards is our new program designed for companies to allow them to reward their top employees, customers, or partners. Based on the Melia Rewards loyalty program, 
it offers a wide range of ways to redeem points so that every beneficiary can enjoy their well-deserved reward in whatever way they like best and with total flexibility and safety, thanks to the Stay Safe with Malia protocol implemented in all our hotels. So rewarding and motivating the best employees, customers, or partners has never been so easy. What could be better than offering them the chance to choose the dates, destination, type of hotel, and duration of their trip? Exotic destinations, a beachfront location, best cities, mountains, golf, and all made possible through the purchase of Melia Rewards points that the company can deliver to whoever it chooses so they can use them whenever they wish. Offering individual incentive trips is definitely the best option at a time in which traveling in groups may be subject to certain limitations. And now we're going to transition to a special version of Malia Jeopardy. And to explain the rules, it gives me great pleasure to introduce another one of my wonderful colleagues, Brandy Ronk, who will walk you through the game rules. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much, Ron and Beatrice. Um, so I hope you're all ready. Um, we're going to do Jeopardy, but we're going to do it team style. So um, the first step is that Tina Chambers, my amazing colleague, um, has been in the background for the last 15 minutes, putting everybody's names in. So if you look in your chat box, um, and Tina, forgive me if you have not put this out there yet, but in your chat box, you should be able to see your name and what team you're on. So you'll be on um, team one to 10, one of those, and you'll work as a team to answer the questions that Alex Trebek and, and Vanna White, I mean, Ron and Beatrice are going to uh, put out there. Give me one more minute. That's all right. I know we've still got people jumping in, so no worries. All right. Okay. So while you got it in there, okay. So go ahead and take a look at your. Hold on. It is coming right now. Okay. It's sorted in order by first name. So please take a look. Um, if I did not, if you are not on this list and you are a client, please let me know through the chat and I'll assign you to a team. Excellent. Thanks so much, Tina. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that you know what team you're on, we are going to um, open up our phone. I highly suggest you use a smartphone or a smart tablet. That's not your computer that because you want to be able to see the questions that Ron has up there. Um, but we need you to open up your internet browser because we are going to have to use a buzz um, app in order to know who was able to buzz in or who wants to answer the question. So a few more housekeeping notes before we move forward. Um, you are all going to be muted. So please only unmute yourself when Beatrice calls out your name after we've done the buzz. Um, once you answer a question correctly, Ron is going to ask you to choose the next category and points. And I know it's human nature to want to go ahead and answer that question, but we actually have to use the buzzer because we're all spread out across the U.S. and some of us are in other countries as well. So um, only answer the question if Beatrice calls your name. So the next question is, how do we buzz? Randy, hold on one second. I apologize for interrupting. People were saying they could not see the names, the team assignments in the chat. Okay. Does anyone see them now? Yeah, Tina, they popped in okay. after everybody's question, so we should be good. Okay, sorry, thank you. No worries. Thanks for doing this. I know it was not an easy, <laughs> an easy thing. Okay, so in your internet browser, or if you wanna to go to Google, you're gonna type in buzzin.live, not www or HTTPS, you're gonna just buzzin.live. And when you do that, you should get this screen that we have up on right now. Um, so it's just an online buzzer system and you have two options and we'd like you to choose the one which is join the game. Can I give everybody okay. just a minute to get in there? And I have to assign a few people who did not see their name. So um, bear with us. So Tina will be doing that as we um, go through this and we won't actually start until we have everybody on a team. So don't worry, we won't leave you behind. 
Okay, I see that Alfredo Hurtado, you need a team. And Florian Paris. What's and the code? Yeah, I'm going to give that to you in just a minute, but <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure everybody has a team. And Laurence Roussard. Roussard. Okay. Roussard. So I'm going to go to the next screen. It's going to have the code on it, but please do not hit the join button until you make certain that you put in your first name, your last initial, and your team number. This is how we're going to know who to assign the points to. So please make sure that you put in first name, last initial. If you have a, a very long name, like I'm going to pick on Carmelina, um, maybe you could just shorten it to Carm, um, I, and then whatever team that you're on. Um, and then the game code is 576009. And once you have it, and it looks kind of similar to this, and we've definitely got your team number on there, you can go ahead and click the join button. So I'm just going to leave this up for just a moment so everybody has a chance to get in. All right. Ron, you think we can move forward? Yeah. Is everybody okay? No, yep. I still have to assign a couple of teams. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> I'm not in. What did you that's say? Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So your first name, your last initial, and then the team that you're on. And okay. then just a reminder, oh, sorry, in the chat box, you have been assigned a team. So I'm not in. If your name's not there, if you'll just let Tina know, she'll get you on a team. It's or she'll Pearl tell you right Karen. now. Pearl, Tina, can you tell her what team she's on? Uh, yes. Pearl. Yes. Okay. And while we're waiting, I just want to give a reminder to our amazing Malia team members and DMC partners and CVB partners. Um, we didn't think it would be fair to allow you to play as you know all the answers. So um, we'd like you to uh, root on our spectator or as a spectator, um, you know, root our, so this is really just for the clients. So you can root them on in the chat box. Pick your, pick your favorite team. All right, so if you have gotten into the buzz in and you put in the code and you put in your name, um, you should be at this point where you now have a green, um, a green buzz button. So what's gonna happen is um, it will be locked. It'll be a yellow button while Ron is reading the questions and then it will turn green as soon as you can buzz in. And so you'll hit that button and then Beatrice will see who buzzed in first and she'll call out your name. That way you can answer the question. So I'm super excited to turn this call back over to Ron Warner in the role of Alex Trebek and the beautiful Beatrice Kasuski as the ever lovely Vanna White. I know it's the wrong game, but I wanted her to be Vanna White. Ron and Beatrice, over to you. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to our first edition of Malia Jeopardy. So just a reminder, um, for those of you who have not played the game before, we have five different categories here. We have the Dominican Republic, Malia History, Paradisus Brand, Malia Wellness, and General DR Malia Questions. Each level gets harder as the questions move on. So pick your questions accordingly. So what we're going to do, and just another reminder, is that when you're asked to ask the next question, that does not mean that you get to answer it. You have to buzz in to be called on to answer the next question. So let's get started. If everybody wants to hit their buzzer, Beatrice will tell us who the first person was to hit their buzzer, and we'll start the game. Beatrice, it's locked. There we go. Okay, so we have Victoria would be the first person to answer the question. Great. So, Victoria, welcome. And please make sure that you unmute yourself only when you're answering a question. So, Victoria, will you please pick the first category and the first level? Let's go with Malia History for 100. This country is home to Malia Hotel International, started over 60 years ago by Gabrielle Escarrer. Okay, and we have Jason from Team 2 to answer the question. Jason, what is your answer? Spain. That is correct. Gabriel Escarer leased his first hotel when he was 21 years old, and it was a 60-room hotel, and uh, now he has uh, the entire company in his back pocket. Okay, uh, Jason, will you pick the next question and the next level? Let's do Dominican Republic for 300. He discovered this island in 1492. 
We have Faith from Team 4 to answer the question. Faith, what is your answer? Columbus. Columbus. That is correct. When he discovered the islands, it was already inhabited by the Taino people. Faith, will you pick our next question for us? Dominican for 400. Dominican for 400. These are the three main colors of the Dominican Republic flag. We have Sandy, team nine. Sandy, what is your answer? Red, blue, and white. That is correct. Blue stands for liberty, white stands for salvation, and red stands for the blood of heroes. Will you please ask the next question? Um, Dominican Republic for 500. This is the name of the island that the Dominican Republic shares with Haiti. And we have Debbie from Team 2 to answer the question. Debbie, what is your answer? Hispaniola. That is correct. It is also known as the Greater Antilles and the most populated island of the West Indies. So just to have a recap, Team 2 has 600 points, Team 4 has 300 points, and Team 9 has 400 points. So it's still time for, it's anybody's game and still time for everybody to score. Please ask the next category and question. Um, I'll take Malia Wellness for 300. The maximum spa appointments Malia Punta Cana Beach can manage on a daily basis is? We have Jessica P from team one to answer the question. Jessica, what is your answer? 200. That is correct. If you have a larger group, we can arrange for more spa appointments there. Jessica, please pick the next question and the next category. Um, let's do Paradisius brand for 200. Malia currently has how many Paradisius resorts in our portfolio? Brian F from team seven to answer the question. Brian, what is your answer? Unfortunately, I'm guessing I'm gonna say six. Uh, you're close, but that answer is wrong. Uh, Okay. First time I got through. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Florian P from team A to answer the question. Florian, what is your answer? Yes, so 12. That is wrong. <laughs> okay, and the next participant to answer is Faith from team four. Faith, what is your answer? I'm gonna go with eight. That is wrong. Unfortunately, the answer is five. We currently have two in the Cancun area, two in the Punta Cana area, and one in Los Cabos. Okay, uh, Faith, since you were the last one, why don't you pick the next question? Let's go with Paradisus Brands for 400. This Paradisus houses the Reserve and the Grand Reserve. We have Ashley from Team 7 to answer the question. Ashley, what is your answer? Oh, hello. What is the Paradisus Apamorea? That is correct. The reserve and grand reserves are small boutique hotels within the larger Pomerial property. Ooh. Ashley, why don't you pick the next question? Okay, and send all the good juju because we have a program there in February. <laughs> um, Valia History 200, please. This city houses the Malia head office in Spain. We have Claudia Coronado, team six. Claudia, what is your answer? Palma de Mallorca. That is correct. Palma de Mallorca is also the capital of the Balearic Islands. Claudia, pick the next question, please. And I'm sorry, Claudia, what team were you on? Six. Six, thank you. Okay, I'm going to... Paradisus Grant 500. This beach declared as one of the best beaches in the world by UNESCO due to the pure white fine sand and spectacular turquoise water is where you will find all of our hotels in the Dominican Republic. Okay, we have Ashley from team seven. Barbaro Beach. Ashley, what is your answer? What is Bavaro Beach? That is correct. That is 10 kilometers of spectacular beach 
also known as one of the most popular and be most beautiful beaches in the Caribbean. Ashley, will you please pick our next question for us? Uh, what is still available? I still see that the Bob I'm sorry, what team? Screen. Can you tell me what team you're? Team seven. Team seven. I just want to make sure the right team gets the point. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Malia History 300. The first Malia Hotel was opened in this year. Okay, we have Colette from team nine. Colette, what is your answer? 1956. That is correct. The first hotel was opened in Palma de Mallorca in 1956. So let's just do a recap here. We've got um, team seven leading with 900 points. Team nine is right behind them with 700 points. And uh, team two is uh, in third place with 600 points. Okay, will you please pick the next question? Um, Malia History for 400. Malia Hotels owns and or manages this many hotels representing over 96,000 rooms around the world. We have Nanika from team four to answer the question. Nanika, what is your answer? Sorry, um, 374. Uh, very close. Okay, so then we have Victoria. Victoria, from team what one. is your answer? 375. Uh, also close. And then the next one, Florian from team eight. Florian, um, what's, what's your answer? 350. No, unfortunately not. It is 382. We recently opened up the inside in Amsterdam as well as the me in Dubai. But Florian, why don't you pick our next question for us? Okay. Um, I would say um, Dominican Republic uh, 200. This city is the capital of the Dominican Republic. I'm sure I know that. We have Ellie S. from Team 3, please, to answer the question. Ellie, what is your answer? Mingo. That is correct. It's also the cultural, financial, and commercial capital, as well as the location of the first cathedral and first university in the Americas. Ellie, please pick the next question. Ellie, did we lose you? Uh, Ellie. We cannot hear you. She's Ellie on mute. Said, Ellie said she needs General DR Malia for 500. Okay. This golf course is located across from Palma Real and all Malia guests in Punta Cana get to experience. We have Andrea Puizina from team number one to answer the question. Hi, Andrea, what is your answer? Hello there, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Cocotel, the golf club? That is correct. The golf Finally, I got to buzz because I could never take the bus first. <laughs> <laughs> the golf is complimentary for all Malia hotels with a nominal fee for the golf cart. Andrea, now you get to pick the next category in question. Okay, so let's do Malia History 500. In how many countries are Malia hotels located? We have a Leona from Team 10 to answer the question, please. Leona, let's see if Team 10 can get on the map here. 40 countries. Uh, very close. Okay, we have Ashley from Team 7. Ashley, what is your answer? What is 44 countries? That is correct. Most of our hotels are located in Europe, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and the Americas. Ashley, will you pick our next question? Uh, 
Ashley. Malia, wellness for 400. Aside from the typical high-end culinary offerings at Malia Punta Cana Beach, these three other menu options are offered in the wellness program. We have Jessica P from Team One to answer the question. Jessica, what is your answer? Vegan, vegetarian, and organic. That is absolutely correct. Um, so Malia differentiates itself from our competition as a gastronomic experience. And this hotel is absolutely no exception. You want to pick our next category for us and question? Yep, let's go Paradisius brand 300. Great. Malia is excited to announce our newest Paradisius opening in early 2021 in this location. Okay, we got Ellie from Team 3 to answer the question. Ellie, what is your answer? Ellie said Punta No, that is not correct. So we have then Nineka on team four to answer the question. Nineka, what is your answer? Los Cabos. Uh, no. So we go now to Debbie on team two to answer the question. Debbie, what is your answer? Yay, it's a Paradisus Playa Mujeres. That is absolutely correct. Um, this new 500 spectacular room property has rooms either facing the ocean or facing into a high-end marina. Is that team two, Debbie? Yes, thank okay, you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Debbie, you get to pick the next question. I would like Malia Wellness for 500. Malia follows the principles of this Indian American alternative medicine guru. We have Brian from Team Seven to answer the question. Brian, I'm guessing again. I'm guessing again. Deepak, Deepak Chopra. That is correct. Yes, his books and videos have made him one of the best known figures of alternative medicine worldwide. Okay, Brian, pick the next question, please. Uh, let's go with uh, uh, General D.R. Malia for 300. This 1100 room hotel was divided into two hotels two years ago. Okay, Claudia Coronado to answer the question. Claudia, Melia what is your answer? Melia Caribe Tropical. That is correct. This hotel was split into two 550 room properties, one of which is for adults only and the other one is for families. And Claudia, which team are you on? Six. Six, thank you. Great, Claudia, will you pick the next question? Um, Dominican Republic, uh, 100. This destination city hosts four Malia properties. We have Brenda V from Team Four to answer the question. And Brenda, what is your answer? Oh, I can think of several, but uh, what is Cancun? Uh, no, that is not correct. <laughs> okay, we have then Brian, Team Seven, to answer the question. Uh, Punta Cana? That is correct. Punta Cana is located on the easternmost province of the DR. Let's go with uh, Paradisus brand for 100. Okay. You will find this star rating awarded to all Paradisus resorts throughout our portfolio. We have Devin uh, from Team 8. Devin, what, what is, is your five? Answer? What is five? That is correct. Our yeah, other two five. brands that boast a five-star rating are Grand Malia and the Me Hotels. Way to Kevin, go, team me. You pick our next question. Oh, sorry. General DR Malia for 400. 
This is the newest Malia family-friendly hotel in the Dominican Republic. We have Victoria from team one to answer the question. Victoria, what is your answer? Is it the Carib that was split into two? Um, yes, I will give you that answer. It's Malia Caribe Beach. Okay. Okay. And will you please pick the next question? Um, Malia Wellness for 100. This Malia property in Punta Cana is known for its wellness program. Okay, we have Debbie O to answer the question, team two. Malia. Yes, what is your answer? It's Malia Punta Cana Beach. That is correct. This is our first wellness concept hotel in the Americas for Malia. So let's take a recap again. We have team seven leading with 2000 points. We have team one with 1600 points. And in third place, we have team two with a thousand points. Okay, what is your next question, please? I'll take Malia Wellness for 200. The concierge and rooms area are called what at our adults only wellness resort in the Dominican Republic? We have Faith C from team four, please. Faith, what is your answer? A reserve. Uh, no, that is not correct. Okay, Alisa, Alisa K from team two, please. Alisa, what is your answer? A royal service. That is not correct. Cut the royal service out. Okay, we have Brenda V from team four, please. Brenda, what is your answer? I was going to say royal service also. And the next one is Claudia Coronado from Team 6. Claudia, what is your answer? The level. That is correct. The level has 178 rooms that are associated with it. And the next question, Claudia? Um, General DR, uh, 200. The name of the newest property addition to Paradisus Palma Real. Sure. We have Jason from Team 2 to answer the question. Jason, what is your answer? The Grand Reserve. That is correct. This is a spectacular new addition built just as you enter the gates of Paradisus Palma Real. And now the final question on Jeopardy is General DR Malia for 100. This Malia property has an 18,000 square foot ballroom. We have Lindsay A from Team 10 to answer the question. Is it Paradisus Los Cabos? Uh, that is not correct. Okay, the next one would be Devin, Devin from Team 8 to answer. Paradisus Palma Real? That is correct. Very few Caribbean resorts not only have a ballroom this size, but we also have a secondary ballroom, which is 11,000 square foot. So that brings us now to the final, which shows us that team, team seven are the winners. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do while our colleague Tina is compiling the names of our winners, we're gonna show this short video of the wellness program at our Malia Punta Cana Beach, which recently opened.
great. And now, Tina, would you like to tell us who the winners were? Team one was second place, Tina. Okay. Team seven is the winning team. Ashley Lawson, Brian Fitzpatrick, Liz Scholes, Pearl Markarian, and Alfredo Hurtado. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. And now we're going to ask Sarah Agramonti, director of the cluster team in the Dominican Republic, to tell all of our winners what they've won. Hello, congratulations to the winning team. It gives me a great pleasure to give each of you a three nice certificate to stay at the property of your choice in Punta Cana. Your, cho your choices are Palma Real, the Grand Reserve, Melia Punta Cana Beach, and Melia Caribe Beach. Your regional director of sales will email you with a certificate, and we are looking forward to welcome you here in Punta Cana. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. And thank you, everybody, for participating in our game. And now we'd like to open it up to any questions and answers. If you have any questions, please post them in the chat, and we will gladly answer them for you. No questions, Ron. You were so thorough that they have no questions. <laughs> Good job. You and Beatrice are awesome. Uh, there is a couple questions. Uh, one has to do with uh, being able to fly from Canada. Okay, so um, there are flights leaving from Canada to the Dominican Republic. However, there is a travel advisory against traveling out of Canada, so um, not everybody is willing to do that. So that's a personal choice. Thanks, Ron. Certificate is for, four, for one year. Remember that. Yeah. Uh, the next question has to do with, um, from Debbie O'Reilly. She wanted to know, um, is the level what used to be called royal service? So perhaps either Ron or Beatrice can explain the different. Uh... So that's a great question, Debbie. Um, so the level has always been the concierge area for the Malia brand. The um, Royal Service was the concierge area for the Paradisus brand, which has now been renamed the Reserve. So that's where there might be a bit of confusion. So Royal Service is now the Reserve. That's at the Paradisus brand. At the Malia brand, it's always been the level. Thank you. Um, we have a question from Alfredo. Uh, does Malia plan to expand into South America in the future? And just in general, any new openings coming up soon? So we are constantly expanding in South America. We have many hotels there. I know that the latest hotel we had is we bought a hotel that was right on Iguazu Falls, and we turned it into a Grand Malia. It is spectacular, right overlooking the falls, and all the rooms have a falls view. It is really quite amazing. So we are constantly expanding, especially in Brazil and other South American countries. Is that the former Sheraton Hotel? Yes. Yes, yes it is. What about your nightly shows? Do you still have them? Yes, we do have them. Those nightly shows are in the Paradisus resorts, not in our other Malia hotels. Is it as robust as it used to be? Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Is it as robust as it used yes, to be? Yes, every night it's a different show. Yes, and I think also, sorry to jump in for a second, with the COVID and our new protocols, I think that the teams have... The teams have been pushed uh, actually even further into creativity. And uh, some of the things will probably stay as just new concepts. So it's very exciting to see. Great, any other questions? Let's see. No, a lot of people are ready to go to Iguazu Falls. <laughs> and just uh, a lot of just things. I had a lot of fun, good spirits even for all the team members liking the game. And I think that's all we have, unless someone else has a last minute question. 
Well, again, we want to thank all of you, not only for taking time out of your busy schedules, but for participating. You guys really made this a lot of fun and we really appreciate it. Again, a big thank you to Sarah, Alicia and Santiago for the great video that we saw at the beginning. We really appreciate it. And uh, like we said, this whole purpose of this call was to welcome you back to Punta Cana. Punta Cana is a viable destination and they are sitting there waiting for your leads to come in and we look forward to being able to close business with all of you. So thank you again and uh, have a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Great, thank you all. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you for participating. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks you. Everybody.